Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build Your Own R2-D2. We are looking at issues 80 and 81 this time. And if you're thinking what happened to 78 and 79, I actually threw out that video last Wednesday. So go back and watch that video if you did miss it, because we're going to crack on with 80 and 81 today. Uh, as you can see, looking at issue 80, it is quite a substantial issue. So to start off with then, we're going to have a look at what comes in issue 81. And as you can see here, it is more framework parts. So we have this longer piece, BF04, and then we have two BF05s. They will just connect like that. Oops, and like that with these connectors here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And there we go. Nice and installed. Really easy to do. Make sure that all the wording is at the top and you have that part of the frame all done. So that is 81 all done. Moving on back to issue 80. And we have a lot of exciting things to add onto this, the main center part of R2-D2's body. Look at that, completely naked at the moment, but this is gonna be chocker full of stuff. So uh, just to quickly show you what parts we attach now, we get this really nice blue bar here, and that will slot in there like that. Make sure that the rim is at the top, not like I just did it. So there's a thicker rim, which you can see there. Make sure that is at the top, so it just slots in there like that. We also need to attach this silver part here, has a little indent, and that goes in here with this little indent, and that will fit in there. And we also have this part here, which is a nice little vent. It has an arrow at the bottom, which you can see, oops, focus works, see just there. That will clip into there like that. And then when you flip it over, you will get this piece, which is just a flat bit with these uh, blue accents. You see it's got a little tab there. That little tab will go in the same way as the arrow, and that's where you screw it down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw all these parts down. <laughs> And with that all done, it will look like this. And even with these little bits added, it, it still adds so much character. I love the color scheme of R2-D2. I know I keep harping on about it, but I do think that the color scheme is why this little droid is so successful and so popular because there's something about deep blues and silvers and whites that, you know, make it look really, really good. Now, um, for those of you who are already ahead, which is probably most of you, you would have noticed that I haven't screwed in this part yet which is all the buttons. Um, the reason that I wanted to kind of give this um, little uh, part uh, its own section rather than lump it with all the others is because these are really, really important. When you screw them in there like that, these will form the buttons that you press to activate different parts of R2-D2 if you're not using the app. So these are the activation buttons built right into the body of R2-D2, a very, very clever design. Um, in fact, I'm going to talk while I screw it down. Um, yeah, uh, a very, very clever design. Um, you know, someone used their brain about this, saw these buttons on R2-D2's body, and was thought, you know what, this is how it will be activated. These are the parts that we will use. I'm sure R2-D2 builders across the country and across the world have been using these buttons for activation for many years, because it does just lend itself to them. Um, but it's exciting for me because I never built an R2-D2 before. And to be honest, I probably won't again because building one from scratch is not on my skill set. But yeah, with that all pushed in, they will press down there like that. But what do they press onto? Well, that is what we're going to have a look at now. Uh, so actually, I'm not going to put that down there. I'm just going to move that out of the way just for a moment and bring in the switches on the board. Remember, try not to hold the green part of the board. Try to hold it around the edge. Definitely don't hold the back because you could disrupt all of these buttons and they will press individually and they will all do different functions in time. So that is the switchboard and we attach the cable onto that switchboard. I'm going to leave it all tied up um, 
uh, for the moment so that it doesn't become loose. But the side you'll need, according to the instructions, is the side with these two jetting out parts there and the brown wire on the right and the green wire on the left. That is where you plug it in, just like that. And that just plugs in there like that. Brown on the right, green on the left. And if you had plugged it in the other way, Oh, it would have been exactly the same. So it doesn't really matter <laughs> which way around you plug it in because they're the same connector. Just make sure it is all plugged in. That is attached onto this blue bit here, the R2-D2 blue. Um, you see it's got three screw holes at the bottom and then two pegs in each corner, one there and one there. The two pegs go into these two holes like that to line it all up. And then, of course, you get these three holes for the screws, which I'm just going to screw in now. There we go, that is loosely screwed in. Um, that isn't all we do. We then get this metal part here and we want it so that this top hole here goes into that peg like that. And these two holes are for the screws. Um, let's just check I've got that right. Yes, that is what it will look like when it's all done. Uh, in the interest of time, we're just gonna do this off camera. And here it is, all screwed down, looking very cool. Um, buttons all still work and then you have this wire coming off and then if we bring back the main part of the body that we were just looking at we just attach it onto the button side in with this connector here and this connector here just like that make sure that you really screw these parts down so that when you push the buttons it will click the switches and voila there we go all screwed down and then you can hear the click of the individual buttons when you press them. How awesome is that? A very, very cool way to end this video. Of course, there's gonna be a lot of focus now on this main body part of R2D2 going forward. So I hope you will join me for that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in a week's time, guys. So until then, take care, bye-bye. I just want to thank my patrons. Without you guys, this video would not have been possible and this channel would be dead. So thank you very much.